Hello, hello, Flutterful developers, and welcome to API Flow YouTube channel. And uh, Flutterflow just published a very cool feature for API integrations, and I want to show it to you, and we will make some demo where we will use Flutterflow, uh, this little task management board, and uh, we will connect Airtable to show our tasks inside of this board and we will use api flow as api connection platform so first of all in api flow i will create a new project and select airtable as service i want to connect then i will connect my airtable account i will use i will allow us to all current and future bases then i will select this connection and we will use Flutterflow demo database. I will allow us to all tables in this database just for this demo. Next, we publish integration. And now we are able to download open API definitions. This will allow us to import API calls to Flutterflow. So we go to API calls section import open api specification you'll find it here select and import now we have our actions for our tables and next we will go and copy our security header and put it here in api group next we will save all changes uh, so this is usual integration way and now we are able to receive data from Airtable and we will see all data here and what i want to show you is actually a way how we will map this data to data types because this is a cool new feature that flutterflow team dropped just today and it very simplify a way how we work with uh, data that is returned from API. So before to map this data to data type, you need to manually copy every field and put it inside data type. Now you can use a new feature that allow you to create a data type based on the schema of a sample JSON record. So we will use tasks name and we'll insert JSON that we just received from Airtable. We will uh, try to create a data type using the JSON. And as you can see, uh, automatically, very fast, uh, Flutterflow created for us data type tasks with records and offset field and it even mapped a list of data type records and created it here. But uh, I do not like name records because we can have multiple records, different records, and I more want to name it a tasks, for a task, for example. So how we can do this, uh, you can't rename the data type, sadly. I don't know why, maybe it will be available later, but at the moment you can't do this, but you can duplicate data type and during duplication, you can rename it. So let's name it task. And now I will go and for our tasks, uh, I will change this field. I will add field records and we'll use data type and we'll use task is a list create so after this i can remove these records data type so now i have full parsed data type tasks and task that is a list inside of my tasks data type so now i can go and query and call my api query from page projects i want uh, to create here uh, a field that I will call, for example, uh, not 
started tasks. As we have multiple states, I will use not started tasks and I will use data type uh, is a list and will use type task. Confirm. Uh, here I have uh, here I have draggable inside. We'll use it later, but also here I will use task data type and I will map value later. And let's map my list view, list view, uh, generating children from variable. We will name it, uh, we will use this value, we will use page state, uh, not start to tasks, no further changes as it is list already, and we will name it uh, um, like uh, not started tasks list. Okay, save. Okay, it's generated now, and we can map it to this value as you can see. Okay, so now we have we have everything mapped for our draggable panel, and now we can map different fields here inside. We will use data structure field. Okay, I don't have work type uh, here. It's from another sample, but for example, I will use uh, priority. It can be good to show priority. Confirm. And next we will map a title. We will map a title. It's called task, I suppose. It will called just task. It will be my title. And duet. I have text combination here. And I will map and date. Confirm. Confirm. I will remove other columns. I don't need them for this sample. So we will have this. Okay. I just need to remove all the values from other sample. I will remove them. Okay, so now I have this list mapped to my list of tasks here and I want to load them. I want to call API action and fill this list. So I go to actions, action flow editor, on page load, I will add an action. I want to, first of all, I want to set uh, update page state, uh, set field, tasks loading, task loading, set value, two. This will show and hide uh, tasks uh, is loading a label in our UI. Next, what I need to do, I want to call backend API call Flutter flow and air table integration uh, list tasks. And we will set a value of it to action output, API tasks list, JSON body, uh, to data type, tasks, and data structure field, records. And now we can filter list items. And now we will set filter condition item in list uh, data structure field data structure field status. Uh, okay, we need to we need to add condition here because by default it expect that we will have boolean field, but we have status field as string. So we will use uh, 
we will use our item in list data structure field status equal to uh, not started as I remember not started not started confirm and we have everything here so it will be filtered and will be set to our page uh, page 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 okay filter condition we have no further changes okay so now we will put a records that have a status not started into our variable not started tasks and we want to update the field tasks loading set value false okay close and now we have our application configured and our uh, not started list of tasks bound to api call result and we can check here our loading uh, indicator visibility let's make it optional uh, okay uh, yeah it may be optional uh, optional uh, it can it is a uh, conditional here so it bound to the tasks loading page uh, state field so now we will test our application and we'll see how it works and our application is loading and our tasks is loading and as you can see we have two tasks here with high and medium priority and if we will check them here it's not started update finish the way implement new software and they are same here it's not started same displayed in flutterfall so this new feature when you able to copy just copy result of api call and paste it into into uh, data type from json is very cool feature it's allow you to very easy very fast to map any item to a data type you just need to import json like project data type and put it here and we create and you have all fields now you don't need to do this work manually and this is very cool feature so as you can see it just more efficient way to integrate data from different apis this feature is very cool and i hope it will help you to build even more powerful projects even more powerful applications as you can see it is very usable uh, thank you for your attention in next video we will talk more about new features that are released in flutterfall and new features that are released in api flow and how to build even better user experience related to different approaches of integrating different services thank you for your attention and have a nice day